Hi, it's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we went to the Deep Run Tram, we collected some rats for Monty, and then we brought those rats over to his brother, Nipsey, who made some kebabs for us. Because he's a rat kebab dealer. We haven't ate one yet. We fed some to Alberta. We actually named our bear Alberta last episode. And we came to Stormwind, and we learned some professions. We learned alchemy, and we learned herbalism. And I wonder if I, I needed anything. Did I... Do you need anything to pick herbs? I think you can just pick herbs without any tools. I know mining you need to pick. I think you just need your hands for picking herbs. So I think we're good with that. And we, uh, we're in Stormwind now. And we're going to be making our way out to Elwyn Forest. So let's go do that. And we're going to go to the, the iconic Goldshire Inn. Which will be interesting. Especially on an RP server. Also, uh, BlizzCon Online has gone... Has, uh, passed us. And they had their little announcement of Diablo 4, Overwatch 2. And also, uh, the Burning Crusade Classic coming out. And also a new raid coming out in, in retail. Tons of great news. Excited for the launch of the Burning Crusade. They also are going to have some changes. Looks like it's not no changes this time. There's going to be some changes with uh, TBC. Looks like you're going to be able to boost a character to level 58 before TBC comes out. Which I think is uh, kind of interesting. I don't know what to think about that, but I think it's a good thing for the game because it allows people to bring their friends along with them. Like, if their friend didn't play Classic WoW, they could say, Hey, man, take the boost, and we could play TBC together. So I think that's all right. So let's see what sold yesterday. We put some stuff on the auction house, and we made 93 silver. Our silver bar sold. Our Malachite did not sell, which is a shame. But it looks like we have over a gold now, guys. We have one gold. So that is good. That is very good. So we can purchase some stuff. So I'm going to look here. And I'm going to see... Um, I'm going to see if any of these... So we'll, we'll type in pouch. Let's see how much these pouches are selling for. Herb pouch. I don't know if I want a herb pouch. Small green pouch. Are you serious? I think RP servers are a ripoff, man. Like, our small green pouch selling for 10 gold? Like, that's ridiculous. Okay, let's check out bags. Loon cloth bags are obviously expensive. Woolen bag. 70 silver. Green leather. I'm telling you guys, this is brutal. 70 silver for an 8 slot bag? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Okay, so we got pouch. We'll check out pouch. Check out the cheapest pouches. That's it. Okay, so there's sack. Let's check out the sacks. Ten slot bag, two gold. A null hide sack. Not bad. Nineteen silver for a null hide sack. What do you guys think? I think I might take that. That's a purchase. Okay, we're buying the, the Noel Hide Snack. Here we go. So we got another bag. We need one more. We can actually look at a ammo pouch. Thick leather ammo pouch is 8 gold. That's a 16 slot. Wow, that's a... So we make 8 gold, guys. We can get ourselves a big, a big ammo pouch. We should probably buy some ammo before we uh, make our way out into the wild. And so we got a got a bag. We'll check out uh check out some axes, some two-handed axes. Go to weapons. We'll go to two-handed axes because we actually want to get one of those. And then we got the severing axe of agility. That's pretty cheap. We have the the two-handed. So we want to get one that is in the well, our level range. So I would say like eight to to eleven. And yeah, we got the twin bladed axe of the tiger. It's two gold. 
And then there's there's Rock Chipper. <laughs> this two-handed axe of the tiger is pretty good. I don't think I should buy Severing Axe. I think we're just going to save our gold and we'll stick with what we got. I'd also like to mention we haven't died yet. We haven't been sent to the graveyard yet, so... There's no Malachite on the auction house. Is there any rough stone? No rough stone. Any light leather? Actually, we should get rid of the rough ones. Any light leather on the auction house? Yeah. Seven silver for two light leather. We can, well, we have two. We'll put it up for seven. Let's see if any of that sells. Since TBC is coming out, people might start leveling their leather working to try to get the... Because you can get drums. It's like they're called like drums of war or something like that. We can sell these for seven silver as well. And then what else we got? Let's see if Malachite sells. Malachite's pretty cheap. We'll sell these we'll sell these three for fifteen silver. That should probably sell. And there we go. We got all of our stuff up. We have eighty one silver, which is a nice amount. I hope I didn't get ripped off on that bag. I know you can buy bags at some vendors. But I think 19 silver is pretty cheap for a bag, don't you think? Who knows? We'll have to see. There we go. We got another bag. It's an 8-slot bag. Paid 19 silver for it. Couldn't afford an axe. It's too bad. Now we're going to buy a bunch of ammo. Stormwind is bumping, guys. The server is not dead at all. What are you looking for? Looks like Robulus is pretty good. Tabar, you can get Tabar. Level 9 axe for 22 silver. Should we buy Tabar? It's a pretty good price. It's better than every other price. I think I might buy Tabar, guys. It's level 9. Yeah, maybe we'll buy Tabar. Looking for something specific? I'm looking for ammo. Looks like you guys don't sell guns here. Imagine I had to buy ammo. They'd only sell ammo in Iron Forge. See you later. How much is like this again? Yeah, pole arms are too expensive for us. We could get upgrade two-handed swords, which is good, just in case we get one. I'll train that. Be careful. And what else do we want? I supply only the finest goods. Probably Tabar. Should we buy it to bar? Got some stuff to sell. Got some gray stuff. Keep all the meat. We also could learn cooking. I also forgot about that. Maybe we'll buy to bar. Should we buy to bar? It's level 9. We're level 11. Could last us for a little bit. We'll buy to bar. It's only 22 silver. So there we go. We got an axe, guys. I think this was a good purchase. Which means we can get rid of this axe. It's a huge upgrade. In damage. It does uh, 8.3 damage per second compared to the 3.7 damage per Looking second we're doing with the other axe. So it's, it's a lot more dam melee damage. It's going to help out a lot. See you later. Let's move on here. And we also got a buff, guys. We got Rallying Cry the Dragon Slayer. So it looks like oh, Onyxia has been dropped, a buff. I've never ex experienced that in, as an Alliance player. I'm always used to it happening on Horde. And I wonder where the head goes. Because usually the head of Onyxia on the Horde side is on like a big uh, big stake. I wonder where I could buy ammo. I'll have to talk to a guard. Usually like general goods guys sell it. These guys are apprentice of cheese. It's an interesting, uh, interesting shop. These guys sell cheese. This is the master of cheese. Greetings. <laughs> the master of cheese. That's hilarious. Look at this guy. What's he doing in here? Gotta watch out for him. Interesting shop. It's just about cheese. What's this place about? General goods vendor. Let's see. Greetings. It's Maybe these guys sell ammo. And they damn, yeah, damn right they do. So what do we have here? We like, we, we can actually buy a heavy shot. But the problem with this guy, does he sell heavy shot? He does. So let's buy some heavy shot. 
Maybe we can sell our light shot. We'll just fill our bags with heavy shot. Can we? Will he buy that? No sell price. Should we throw it in the garbage? Thinking about throwing that in the garbage. Yeah, we're we're throwing this out. Here you go. Won't buy our light shot off us. Or the alliance. It's kind of lame. I wonder if you can buy heavy shot on the auction house. I'm gonna check that out. He might have just got ripped off. The thing is, is it is it uh is it soul bound? It's not. Yeah, nobody buys, nobody sells that. All right, so let's get out of here. So a lot of upgrades, not bad. We got uh, got a new axe, got a full pack of heavy shot. We got a bag, and we got some stuff on the auction house. Hopefully, we make a profit. So let's make our way out. We also got a got the flight point to Stormwind. So if you ever want to fly back, we can. Let's make our way out of here. It's a nice day in Stormwind. And also, um, what else happened today on BlizzCon? The, oh yeah, they announced uh, Diablo 2 Remastered, which is a. Uh, which is good. That's the, the final remastered game, I believe, that they will release for a while, I think. Because they have StarCraft, all like StarCraft 1 remastered, StarCraft Brood War remastered. They also have Warcraft 3 remastered. And now they got Diablo 2 remastered. I might check that game out. Never really put in a lot of time in Diablo 2, but I always hear good things. And, yeah, they got the 58 boost in TBC. Excited for that. And they also said that some, that they're not going to nerf some of the bosses. They're going to allow people to experience them at their hardest difficulty while I pre-nerf, which I'm, I'm excited for because a lot of the classic WoW raids were, were nerfed, except for Nax Ramus, I believe. Because I believe we started at w patch 1.2 or 1.3. And... BWL and MC and also AQ40 were nerfed in that patch. So we're going to get to experience some hard bosses in TBC, which I think is cool. And they also changed, made some other changes to Paladins. Alliance used to have a, their, their own seal, and Horde used to have their own seal as a Paladin. Now they're allowing... Paladins at level 70 to have both seals. And they did that because the Horde seal was was better than the... It was just better than the than the Alliance seal. So now they're allowing Paladins to have both. So there isn't any like faction imbalance or anything like that. So I think that's a good thing to add. Not too mad about that. Hey there. I'm always See you around. pro for... Uh, for keeping the factions, you know, balanced. Some changes are good. King's honor, friend. So here we go. Let's have a chat with Marshall Dugan. Ah, it's hard enough keeping order around here without all these new troubles popping up. I hope you have good news, Trap and Trap. The Fargo Deep Mine. The mine in Northshire isn't the only one with problems. I have reports that the Fargo Deep Mine in Elwyn has also become a haven of kobolds. Explore the mine and confirm these reports, then return to me. The mine is almost due south of Goldshire, between the Stonefield and McClure homesteads. Explore Fargo Deep Mine, then return to Marshall Dugan. So, I guess, uh, I guess we'll, yeah, we'll, why, let's do that. Maybe we'll explore this mine. Supposedly south, right? Fargo Deep Mine. Due south of Goldshire. Okay, so we'll go... Go with honor, we'll friend. check out that mine. Hopefully we don't get slain. We have a buff right now. Rallying Cry of the Dragon Slayer, so that should help. I just want to check out Goldshire here. See if anybody's hanging out. Doesn't look like it. But this is the inn where... People say, like, it's always, like, weird stuff going on during RP servers in this end. But it seems to be, uh... 
Seems to be pretty empty right now. So let's get out of here. And we will make our way to the Kobold Mine. Okay, there we go. Fargo Deep Mine. Looks like it's a green quest, so it shouldn't be too much of a challenge. And it's due south from here. Can't wait to try out this Tabar. Maybe we'll try it on this level 6 stone, stone boar. Let's give him a smack. Smack him. Look at that hit, dude. Oh, he's parrying. Okay, so it's actually good that we're... We're hitting this guy. Also, Alberta's getting upset. He's a hungry boy, so we gotta feed Alberta. Have a bite, Alberta. Don't get upset. So we'll just keep fighting these stone tusk boars, I guess, for a little bit. Because I need to train up my two-handed axes. Look at that hit. All right, Alberta. We're going to give you some more meat. Might have to give him some of this rat rat food soon. Hopefully we get some boar meat. So Alberta's going to need some. There we go. We got a chunk of boar meat. Let's keep on feeding Alberta. He needs a lot of food. He's not getting happy. Okay, he's a little bit happy. He's content now. He's like, I'm okay. Yeah, the reason, as you can see, my axe, my two-handed axes are going up. So when you learn a new, a new uh, weapon, you have to train it. So I'm happy we actually started training it before we actually made it to the mine. And I started missing. Yeah, okay, see how much damage it does? 65 damage. Another chunk of boar meat. We'll just keep feeding Alberta till he's happy. Here we go. We're starting to hit these guys. I think Alberta needs another, another piece of meat. We got another uh, lamb shank. So he's fighting these, these guys around here. Let's give him a wave. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he's a herbalist. Actually, we should turn our herbalism on. Good thing we met Lambshank. He reminded us that to her put our herbs on. So, yeah, we got find herb on now. Which means we can't track humanoids. You can only do one thing at a time. Or track one thing at a time. So, yeah, we're looking for herbs. So we can sell them on the auction house. Got another boar here. Rock hide. Looks like we're starting to hit. Which is good. Oh, Miss there. Now bird is happy, which is good. Another chunk of boar meat. We'll just keep going south. We gotta find this uh gotta find this. So that could be it right there. Fargo Deep Mine, right over here, as you can see. So we're going to head over there. And we'll smack some some people along the way to train up our two-handed axes. We're doing a lot of damage with that Tabar, which is good. Surprised there wasn't any cheaper ones on the auction house. But I'm fine with that. We also got a herb here. Silver leaf. Let's pick this up. Nope, oh, we failed. So yeah, that's something that can happen too. When uh, your herbalism is low, you usually fail. Since this is orange, so we got three silver leaf there. That's good. Let's give this guy a smack. One shot. Just clapped him, guys. He got clapped. Oh, missed there. I love having a pet because you just don't get hit. You just 
And this pet's great because he taunts. Let's see what this boar has. Maybe he has some meat. Nope. Alright, so the mine's right over here. I guess we'll start bullying these kobolds. Hopefully we don't get slain. We also have this buff, so... I'll just tell you guys what it does. Increases crit chance of spells by 10%, melee and range by 5%, and grants 140 attack power. So, this is clearly helping us and the reason why we're swinging so hard. <laughs> this guy's getting blown up. I wonder if we can fight two at a time. Here, get out of here. Get out of here, pal. I kind of feel like a warrior with, uh, with a bear. This guy's getting trucked. I'm getting some linen cloth off these guys, too, which is good. There's a red shiny apple. So here we go. Let's fight our way in here. We got a scroll of protection, which is good. It'll, I believe it gives us armor. I don't know if we really need to use it now. I think I'll save that for later. These kobolds are getting beat up. Yeah. This is just a nice little... It's kind of a nice way to start, I guess. It's a good way to... Good way to start our journey in Elwyn Forest. Clearly this quest is a little too easy. And I kind of wish I picked up a better one, but the good thing is we'll be able to farm some gold and and it allows us to level up our uh, our axis. There we go. Looks like we've explored the mine. And usually when I'm in a mine, I like to use uh, find treasure. So I'll turn find treasure on it, and it looks like we have a battered chest in here. So we're going to go get that chest. Because we're dwarves and that's what we do. And I think once we're out of this mine, we should be able to... We won't have any trouble hitting anybody with our axe. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is going to be trouble, guys. Start swinging. Why can't I swing on this guy? Get him. This guy's messing with Alberta. <laughs> Get him, Alberta. <laughs> That's what you gotta watch out for. These mines are no joke. We almost got uh, ambushed by kobolds. Okay, so we might have to have a bite to eat ourselves. So let's have a... Uh, should probably give a... Uh, hang out here. Maybe we'll have a try... We'll try a little bit of these rat kebabs. And it looks like... Uh, he didn't mind it. Looks like there's somebody else in here. Oh, wow. Think he can beat this? This guy looks like he's in trouble. We should save his life. <laughs> As long as, you, as long as you let me take the chest. No, it's mine. Sorry. There. Hey, lass. <laughs> Look, she's running away from me. I think she's scared. I have a potion for you. Oh, let's, get, let's give this person a potion here. There you go. Let's see if they accept the trade. So it'll give me a f sword for it. Ah, oh, don't worry. Don't worry. No need to trade. Trade me anything. Good luck on your journey. Till we meet again. And there we go. It's a nice little experience. Was trying to destroy it. Inventory full. 
No, they didn't get it. Didn't get it. <laughs> didn't get the potion. Well, here you. Gosh. I think no. You got it. You got the potion. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Let's say bye again. See ya. There we go. Time to get out of here. We got the chest before she did. And that's what it was all about. And our two-handed axe has increased to 44, so that's good. We're ready to swing, guys. We saved her life, too. I think, I swear, like, if we didn't come, come those Nicole bolts are taking her down. And Alberta's putting in work, man. Bird is putting in a lot of work right now. Let's give this guy a smack. So happy I bought that tab bar, and I'm so and I'm also really happy that that silver bar sold. That was awesome. Really, uh, there's a battered chest right there. We're going back to get it, guys. Supposedly a battered chest right here. This guy doesn't want us to touch the chest. We're just smacking these coal bolts around. Alright, let's open this up. See what we get. Got another silver bar, guys. That's right. Can't wait to get back to the auction house. We're gonna be rich in no time. Oh my gosh, Moonsums. I hope he's not talking to uh to Kiones. Got some weird stuff going on at this mine. We better get out of here. Oh, looks like Alberta. Did Alberta level up? Discovered Stonefield Farm 55 experience. Looks like Alberta. Looks like Alberta leveled up there, right? Let's see what's going on with Alberta. It looks like we have another uh, point to spend. I think we're going to improve our aspect of the hawk. And that uh, well, aspect of the hawk is active. All normal range attacks have a 1% chance of increasing range attack speed. By 30% for 12 seconds. Not too shabby. So our aspect of the hawk is a little bit more effective. I also wonder what's going on with our pet here. Let's check it out. Looks like his loyalty level has gone up to level 2. He's unruly, but... He's a little unruly, but he's starting to like us a little bit. Giving him a lot of meat. And he's leveling up. He's like 99%. Almost almost level 3. Let's go have a chat here with Marshall Dugan. Greetings. This is bad news. What's next? Dragons? We'll have to increase our patrols near that mine. Thank you for your efforts, Trap and Trap. And hold a moment. I might have another task for you. So here we go. That's one mine down. And I guess we'll take a little rest here. At, uh... Take a little rest here at the... At the inn. So we got a guy named Yosarian. And here we go. Take a little sleep. Well, we didn't do it the right way. Here we go. And there we go. We'll take a little rest here at the Goldshire Inn in the next episode. We will uh, continue our journeys in Elwyn Forest. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.